2022 has been a turbulent year for investors, especially for crypto investors. The world's largest cryptocurrency, Bitcoin's price, has dropped nearly 70% since its all-time high of $68,000. But now, there are indicators of a bullish market ahead of Bitcoin. That's why major players in the investment sector are seeking investment opportunities in Bitcoin. BlackRock, one of the world's largest asset managers, has also signed an agreement with Coinbase that will allow its institutional clients to purchase Bitcoin. In today's video, we will talk about that. How BlackRock is implementing Bitcoin in its assets, what BlackRock offers regarding Bitcoin, and most importantly, what that could possibly mean for crypto investors and cryptos. So, make sure you watch the video to the end and if you're new to the channel, remember to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so you won't miss any future videos we upload. Getting back to the subject, let's first talk about BlackRock a little bit. Well, BlackRock is one of the world's largest investment management companies across the globe, with more than $10 trillion in assets under management. The firm operates as a single business segment, with the majority of its revenue coming from investment advisory and administration fees. BlackRock, which has a market capitalization of approximately $112.3 billion, provides investment and technology services to both institutional and retail clients worldwide. BlackRock provides clients with a wide range of funds and portfolios. BlackRock clients can invest in a variety of financial instruments such as fixed income, money market instruments, and equities. BlackRock offers a wide range of ways to invest such as exchange-traded funds, mutual funds, and investments that help save for retirement or college. Lastly, BlackRock is also the parent company of the iShares ETF family, the world's largest provider of exchange-traded funds. Now, BlackRock is launching a new spot Bitcoin private trust aimed specifically at institutional investors as part of its aggressive push into the cryptocurrency market. BlackRock recently announced a partnership with cryptocurrency exchange Coinbase Global to provide Bitcoin access to users of BlackRock's institutional management platform, Aladdin. In the past, it was hard for institutions to get access to cryptocurrencies. However, BlackRock's partnership with Coinbase Coin, seems to have made it easier for institutions to get involved, which could make cryptocurrencies more popular. According to Coinbase's blog, the partnership will create new access points for institutional crypto adoption, which many experts believe is critical for the price of Bitcoin and the broader crypto market to mature and stabilize. The crypto exchange's crypto trading, custody, prime brokerage, and reporting will help BlackRock's end-to-end -end investment management platform. However, the collaboration is only applicable to Bitcoin and will provide BlackRock's institutional clients with access to crypto trading, custody, prime brokerage, and reporting via Coinbase Prime. With BlackRock's Aladdin software suite, clients will also be able to keep track of their Bitcoin holdings and do risk assessments. In spite of this, it may be some time before even BlackRock observes a significant uptake in the ownership of institutional cryptocurrencies. According to a survey conducted by Fidelity, at the time when Bitcoin prices were getting close to their all-time high in September 2021, only 3% of US pensions and endowments owned digital assets. But that figure has undoubtedly decreased as Bitcoin prices have fallen sharply. According to the predictions of some analysts, it may take some time to restore investors' confidence to the point where institutional investors will take the risk of investing in digital currencies. As the regulatory environment surrounding cryptocurrencies becomes increasingly complex, companies like Coinbase and BlackRock will likewise need to navigate a regulatory minefield. The Securities and Exchange Commission is currently investigating a number of Coinbase's business practices. In the coming months, it's possible that regulators will issue rules governing crypto token listings and exchanges. There are currently a number of bills being considered in Congress that would regulate the industry. All this could turn out to be beneficial in the long run because regulation of cryptocurrencies could boost investor confidence in digital assets. Last but not least, following the footprints of BlackRock, a number of other fund managers are also beginning to investigate the cryptocurrency market. Recently, Schroeder's has acquired a stake in the cryptocurrency-focused fund manager Fortius. 
and Fidelity has announced that it will permit investors to include cryptocurrencies in their portfolios when participating in 401k retirement plans. It is also possible that the increased involvement of institutional managers like BlackRock in the cryptocurrency market will help to stabilize prices and provide support for major tokens like Bitcoin. But it won't happen overnight. Until then, it's possible that institutional investors will continue to have some doubts about this asset class. Well, that is all for today's video. What exchange do you like the most? Tell us your views in the comments section. And if you like this video, please give us the thumbs up. Also, subscribe to our channel and join the journey with us. Best of luck and goodbye.